back in the World Wide Arena. Mike, they were literally lined up around the building earlier today before they opened the doors for this big production as the gambler makes his way to the ring. WCW action live and in person. The hottest ticket there is today. Well, it's great to watch World Championship Wrestling from the comfort of your living room, but there's nothing like being at a WCW NWO event live, up close and personal, experiencing it with other wrestling fans, like this great crowd on hand here for Worldwide. And what a crowd we have here today. Well, they were pigeonholing me earlier today. Every question in the world. What's up with Ric Flair? Where is Hollywood Hogan? How is Hollywood Hogan? Where is this guy? Where is that guy? Man, I tell you what, one of the smartest wrestling fans in the world here on Worldwide. Well, they've shoehorned them into the arena. You can see there's not room to put another fan here at the WCW Worldwide Arena. And here comes, direct from Great Britain, David Taylor to the ring. He could not be happier that there's not one more fan in this building. He has a complete disdain for every wrestling fan in the world and lets it be known. Look at the countenance. Look at the expression on that face. Talk about upper front. Well, let's see. To repeat a line that I've heard from both you and our broadcast colleague, Larry Zabisco, the living legend, he likes to refer to Dave Taylor as the Biggin from Wigan. The Wigan Wrestling School in Great Britain has poured out a number of very, very tough wrestlers, starting with Billy Robinson back in the 1960s. What a tough guy he was. Well, what a reputation that that school, that training camp has, not just in Europe, but worldwide, internationally known that the Wigan School of Wrestling produces some of the greatest and certainly some of the toughest professional wrestlers ever to compete. And the gambler to face Dave Taylor here on World One. And I got to think the gambler probably, uh, well, his application to the Wigan School was uh, laughed out of the building, would be my guess. Really no comparison when you look at the experience of these two wrestlers. Dave Taylor has wrestled all around the world for well over a decade. He's a third generation wrestler, by the way. He grew up around the sport. Yes, his father and his grandfather competed as pro wrestlers. Whoa. Not too many men can make that claim. Well, it is a unique distinction. I understand that coming up later here on WCW Worldwide, we will have yet another third-generation wrestler in Chavo Guerrero Jr., and there's even one more on the WCW roster. That's Super Calo, who is a third-generation wrestler. There's three of them currently active in WCW. Calo is a third-generation wrestler. Yes, both his father and grandfather competed as pro wrestlers in Mexico. Wow. Well, he certainly comes by his talent, honestly. And take a look at that clothesline over the top from the gambler. And Dave Taylor, boy, what an affront to an upper crust individual to be clotheslined over the top rope. I think that lariat was a wake-up call for Dave Taylor. Look at the gambler. Oh, the strength of the gambler just to bring in Taylor from the apron. And he got, and he got the two count. I thought he was going to get the pin. They are really going to rip Dave Taylor down at the club after this performance on Worldwide. I think this just may be a case here in the early going of overlooking your opponent. We talked about the experience factor and the huge edge that Dave Taylor brings, but the gambler by no means is a rookie. Not at all. A veteran, you could say, the gambler around this great sport for a number of years and really showing Dave Taylor around the ring. He's really taking the offense to Taylor, too, and Ooh. shoulder up. Did you see what the gambler did? during the pinfall attempt, braced his body weight on his own legs, rested his hand across the jaw, so the entire body weight of the gambler across the jaw of Dave Taylor. Normally a move that we would see from Dave Taylor exactly. applied to one of his opponents. That time the gambler turned the tables and took a page out of the Dave Taylor playbook. Referee Johnny Boone asking Dave Taylor if he wants to give it up. Taylor, I don't think there's any give in this man at all. Of course, Taylor, legendary for experience in terms of both submission holds and suplexes, loves to use both of them, and he has that double underhook, that butterfly suplex that he's perfected. When he puts that maneuver on also, he will float over and maintain control of the opponent into a pinning combination. They teach you that at the Wigan School. Now that's really the key to the success of that move, that one fluid motion where you maintain that contact and never let your opponent up. Gambler, high risk off the middle row. Ooh. That one backfired. Oh, he caught one right in the bread basket from Taylor. Oh, here we go. That's it, double underhook. Maintains, float over, pinning combination, and the three count out of nowhere. We thought Taylor was a beaten man. Textbook move by Dave Taylor. Tied up his opponent, the Gambler, 
The perfect float over after the perfect suplex leads to the perfect victory. The winner from Wigan.